This is the Doctor continuing the Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters playthrough. We're about to fight a Chaos Cruiser on the way to the um, first boss, the first Reaper. But before we do that, uh, there is one thing I wanted to spend my three requisition on. There. I was hoping I didn't have to, but I feel like this pistol, the Judex, is bugged. Because I know the lethal reflex on subsequent turns was not giving me the plus one AP, which is really, really, really important. And I'm gonna spend three AP to purchase this other pistol. I, uh, not three AP, three requisition. At least it's only three requisition. That um, Vard's Law, which hopefully does not have that problem. Uh, I wanna know if really this pistol is bugged. Um, yeah, three requisition. I kind of didn't want to spend it, but uh, got to do it. The plus two damage against organic targets is too good to not get. I only have five red seeds left. 15% crit is also nice. So let's do that because I want to use my assassins on this chaos cruiser. And I I actually need kill tie to be able to like execute three enemies a turn and get all his action points back. It's like the whole gimmick of the Vindicare Assassins. Okay, research project complete, reflective inside two. I have been studying the Great Knight Sacrament in detail. I must say it was a slog reading through the endless descriptions of pomp and pendantry. See how I was able to steal the sacraments into a nugget of true and lasting insight. It is a lesson I may reflect upon when the exhaustion about it weighs upon my psyche. Okay. Let's uh let's do a little let's do a little bloom suppression perhaps. It's only twelve days. Meditation chamber. This is great. Commander, the meditation chamber has been consecrated and is ready to house your men in quiet contemplation. No silence is a strange concept to me. Anytime I am interfacing with at least 436 of the vessel's logic nodes, I crave the noise. You may need quietude to commune with the Emperor, but Machine God speaks to me through clamor. How interesting is that? I'm gonna upgrade the construction speed because feeling like we have a decent number of servitors. And let's let's be able to get our construction quicker, you know. All right, Death Guard cruiser. Warning: Enemy Death Guard have boarded the Edict. Reports suggest they are converging on the Armory. Unleash me, Commander! I will teach these traitors a lesson. Analysis. Oh, this is the one. Enemy ship may be minimally defended. A counter-offensive is advisable. I can reach the armory. Send Ektar and your knights to attack the enemy ship. This is the one where, um... This is the one where they can steal stuff from the armory if I do the boarding action. I'm gonna send Vakir to protect the armory. I don't want to lose any of my... I don't remember what gear I did or did not equip. I really don't want to lose anything. So I guess we won't do the boarding mission. I'll show no mercy. Okay, light wounds. Vakir creates a sanctuary around the armory, holding off the intruders while your knights is able to plague ship. Results, a couple brothers got wounded, enemy cruiser destroyed. You only get two requisition as opposed to three from this. But um, we didn't lose any gear, which is what matters. Wow, in that case, I guess I'm doing the boss. I am going to do the boss. I'm going to bring a uh, elite team here. Hmm. Surely I can... Um, surely I can... Do that when I'm on top of the boss, right? Let's, let's travel there. Intervention required. Warning. Crucial systems have been damaged from our recent skirmish. With the Edict's limited facilities, further repair risks cascading failures. Resolution. The Adeptus Mechanicus maintain a fully equipped docking station within this sector. Direct the Edict to this location as expediently as possible. Instruction suspended? Well, at least it's nearby. Analysis. Morgellus the Corroded Prince located. Demonic entity occupies the form of a Plague Hulk of Nerval. You 
sound uncertain, Dominus. The foul creature is here, as I predicted. Available data is fractious. Yet we have faced them before. Please elaborate for our Inquisitor's benefit. Classification, demon engine. Nurgle abomination. Foul defilement of the perfect work of the machine god. What of its weaknesses then? Weaponry? More cannon designation. Theoretical. Data access restricted. Cleaner designation. Rudimentary. Analysis self-explanatory. Power systems designation. Perversion. Illogical construct. Data access restricted. Shielding designation. Unknown. Data unavailable. It seems we've touched on a sensitive point for the tech priest. Indeterminate. Restriction boundaries are undefined. Access response remains obstinate. No matter. It sounds as fitting a vessel as any to reap the strain of decay and rust. The hunt begins on your order, Commander. Okay, Lunette was not very helpful at all uh, in terms of describing what this demon does. Ooh, we could get a paladin from this. Um, that sound was awfully loud. I'm going to turn the music volume down to 70. Let's do that. Okay. So, we need to prepare a squad. I want an elite squad of fully unwounded knights. We need a little bit of everything, in my opinion. Definitely need a Justicar. I do like librarians a great deal. What sort of melee weapon can I give you, Casey? Valen. I can give you a Falcon. Ooh, Warding Staff. I think that's actually the way to go. Because you have a good chance of getting a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, Warding Staff. I have so many uh, blue seeds, might as well upgrade that. Plus the uh, extra willpower is really good. Okay, yeah, this is your weapon, Casey. Anvil's Haven. Uh, soul hammer. So you're here to provide support. We need someone to really do damage. This is a boss, and I am worried if we don't. I know I don't want to bring multiple level nines. I could bring Shoto. Yes, Shoto could be the way to go. Uh, B res. B res could be very good. Shoto does insane damage, and then, um, Chaplin? No. Where's Metros? I can get Metros wounded again. Ew. Not necessarily such a good idea on this boss. Uh, Pendant. Pendant could be real good. He does so much damage. But I, I would prefer a team of knights that aren't wounded. I could, of all people, bring Kai Wong. Is that, you know what? I think that's actually a pretty good idea, now that I think about it. The multi-melter could do a lot of damage. Uh, he has armor break. Yes, I think that's the way to go. Let's uh, start the mission. We're not going to use the assassins for this. We're going to bring Casey. Maybe I should bring an interceptor. Interceptors are usually very good. But Shoto should be insane for this mission. E res. And then. Ooh, maybe an apothecary. Nyancas. Uh, nah. Let's try, let's try Kai Wong. Um, the servo arm servitor is surely useless on this map. But the others could be good. The multi-melter should be good. Hydraulic arm might be relevant. Hard to say. Servo arm servitor. No, I, I want to get rid of that. Where's the servo? Or the uh, plasma can. Plasma cannon could be good. You have the ability to just blow up the servitors for extra damage. Yes. 
Okay, so you have the Soul Hammer. You're here mostly for support. I don't have a lot of crit. But I do worry that this is an enemy that is, like, resistant to crit. But we should probably bring at least one brother. Oh, not Gates of Infinity. Um... No, Dominate's gonna be useless. High Sanctuary should be good here. Maybe Tides of Shadow, actually. Who knows what sort of debuffs they could do. I don't know that I need High Sanctuary. It's too, it's too defensive. Willpower for sure. Okay, I think this is good. Reduce Warp Surge. Yeah. Shoto does absurd amounts of damage. Um, maybe I don't need the Tides of Shadow. Maybe... Hmm. I don't remember this boss. Uh, Shoto, the Imperium Brain Mines. I mean, a lot of bosses can be stunned. It could actually be relevant. I definitely have to bring the Secret Servo Skull. That could be a tremendous amount of damage. Did I upgrade the, uh... Let's upgrade this Enrage thing. Oh, I didn't really need to do it. I had enough focus. Whatever. Not a big deal. Yeah, we should bring a Medicaid. You never know. A little healing can't be that wrong. And then Kai Wong has Armor Pierce. We just don't have crit. But Yellow Seeds are usually like the anti-crit. Like, that's how the Yellow Seeds work. They counter crits. So we have everything except crit, and I feel pretty good. Let's do it. Look at that demon. What is that I smell? Ah, more grease to anoint my gears. Commander, the poison of a prime seed radiates below. This is most certainly our target. More from above? <laughs> Your numbers mean little. Ten or ten thousand, all must crumble and fall before me. Tactical analysis. Weaponry is limb-driven. Prioritize its extremities. That voice. A daughter of the false Onisaya? Why do you not come down and join my menagerie? I will teach you such things your machine god has kept secret from you. Blasphemy. No, a pity. Perhaps you will see the light once I shear those flimsy guards from your eyes. Pre precarious heights. Your gray knights will be unable to climb up after being knocked off these precarious heights. Retreat and deploy terminators or mind your knight's positioning. Well, I have two terminators. So we can't get knocked off. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this. Maw Cannon, set a hazard at R30 over range 10 to deal 1 damage. Afflict structures of decay, hazard afflicted blind. Okay, we can counter that. Hurl Knight, that doesn't seem so bad unless it hurls us off the cliff. That would be very bad. Morgellus can command corrupted turrets to fire on nearby knights. Okay. Rust and Ruin, Morgellus attacks a rusted platform causing a section to become a stable collapse next turn. That seems problematic. Pearl Girders. You guys can grab Girder, targeting a blast at area 2 up the range for 10 to deal 4 damage. It's like vulnerable. Eh, I don't really care about that. Okay, what's it immune to? It's immune to Nullify? Ooh. Pin? Ah, good thing I didn't pick that weapon. There was a Falcon that gave Pin. I was like, does it work on bosses? Not a surprise, it doesn't work on bosses. Not a surprise, incapacity doesn't work. It's immune to Bleed, really? Bleed's already so weak. This thing's immune to like everything. Phrase dominate, of course. Panicked. Makes sense. Immune to blind. So 
so what is it not immune to? It's not immune to vulnerable. Ooh, look at that. Entropic shield. While active, Morgellus cannot be crit. I knew it. I knew it had, like, some shenanigans there. Claw shielding. When attacked with a ranged attack, now this blocks two damage with each active claw. Rot cannon. Target blast. Go for damage. Rot cleaver. Okay. What can I do? I could hobble it. I could inflict vulnerable for one turn. But I have a different way of doing that. Ooh, you can disable the entropic shield. And then you can hobble it. Oh, look at that. There's strong points all over this enemy. Wow. Okay. Strong points on the back. Strong points. Disable left claw. Well, Lunette did say focus on attacking the claw. That seems smart. It has eight movement. So there is no, like, hiding. There's no hiding from this dude. Are you immune to burning? No. Hey, that could actually do something, huh? What is your will? Well, let's start with a... What about these corrupted cannons? Ah, oh, there's a corrupted cannon up there. I could probably fix them. Okay. Let's spam our willpower like crazy. Why not? I'm I can just restore all the willpower anytime I want. Hi Wong, why don't you fix up this turret? You think to undo my great work, but it is no matter. The machine exists to serve the plague god. Nascent attack patterns emergent. The defensive battery is ours. Oh, I could use it to... Get rid of its armor. What about my basic attack? Armor break five, that's better. Wait, I should have flicked vulnerable first. Why did the game bug? Oh my god. There's a different different flavor of bug. Ah, oh, I guess I gotta close and reload. Okay, I had to replay the turn. Not a big deal. Let's do a Seeker Servo Skull. It's not immune to vulnerable. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna bother using a turret. There's better use some sort of weird bug there. So we are just gonna Force Strike. Okay. Then what is your will? Thinking It's got three at your service left. Yes, Commander. We're just gonna smack him. Or strike. Or strike to buff our damage. Hey. Ah! I don't think I even want to. Range. I'm just gonna spread out. Good. It appears you've staggered it. This might be a good chance to strike at its upper body. 
Uh huh. I agree. I agree. I d Let's get rid of its crit immunity. Defensive lattice deactivated. It's no longer protected. Strike now while it's vulnerable. Okay. No longer immune to crits. Standing ready. I can hammer hand. What do I want to get rid of? Precision targets. I don't rock cannon. What is that? I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. What? Structural integrity failing. Commander, clear our brothers from that section before it collapses. Wait, how many turns? Oh, two turns. Oh, I was like, if this happens next turn, I'm like screwed. Uh, that's fine. This is fine. We have the gates of infinity next turn. So let's, uh, let's still move our brothers. was not the most impressive hit there, but it's okay, buddy. Gotta be careful not to get knocked off. Yes, come on. Okay, enrage. That's actually real good. That's the gimmick with this boss. Uh, let's not stand. We gotta get out. It would be silly to lose this mission for uh, no good reason. Okay, we kind of got a free hit in. You can take it, B res. Annoying, okay, but we can get rid of all that nonsense. You all take such pride in that gleaming armor of yours. But it will hold up as mere cloth against the knife of my necrosis. Our uh, holy plate will not be stained by your touch. I just have to. That's right. Oh, I still have to free my knights, but that's fine. Your command. Got the gates of infinity to teleport us to safety. Surge prevention seems like a good choice soon. Not quite yet. Um. I'm gonna force strike just to get rid of some more armor. This game grows tiresome. I will bury you all and be done with it. I am here to serve. What is your will? What is your will? Mine is four damage from range attacks. Oh, because I didn't get rid of the claws. Uh. I'm just very, very worried we die to like a stupid reason. See a cleansing flame, it's some None shall evade my cleansing fire. It's a little extra damage. The foe bleeds. Then maybe it's time to run. We can uh, enrage it and then Yeah, maybe we save our gates of infinity, you know. Oh, I don't. It's really hard to tell exactly how much of the platform is going to collapse. I better get to Infinity to be safe. 
In which case... Don't want to hurt it too much. That's mostly to do the enrage. Wait, how did I get blinded? I thought I'm, uh, I should be having them all my resistance. Your will. Oh, all allies, uh, but these two brothers were not freed. Okay, what that's why. Let's warp charge that. Just, I don't want to lose to a stupid reason. I don't want to shoot it because I want the crit next turn. I don't know if this fight's actually going to last like much longer. Just in case. Where's the multi melt -up? Let's do a... Uh, awaken the machine. And otherwise, I think we just spread out. At once. Maybe a little overwatch. Maybe he's gonna come that way. Oh, he came the other way. It's fine. Ooh. Do you see it now? Your future rests below an eternity of rust and ruin. Update. Functional combat terrain receding rapidly. The tech priest is right. We must banish this demon soon or the entire structure will collapse. So there's a soft timer. Okay. Don't worry, I got this, I got this. We're gonna kill him this turn. Uh, let's see, awaken the machine. No, I want the multi multi servitor. Ready to fire. Uh, force strike, get rid of the rest of your armor. Then. Standing ready. Shoto, you're gonna force strike, and you're gonna do the most absurd. Shoto's gonna solo this boss. Just watch. We actually have more space to retreat to if necessary, but we're not gonna retreat. There's no retreating. Don't worry. But it's already vulnerable. Let's get rid of the right claw. Ah, strikes. Well done, brothers. Do not cease until you've torn that foul abomination apart. That's right. Oh, I don't have a warp charge. That's not necessary. No, we don't need warp charge for this. The warp resists my will. All platforms will be destroyed. That's fine. Minus two damage from range attacks. Oh, I have the stun. Yes. I want to see B Res execute, or not execute, but like crush this thing. This boss is really easy when you have like busted gear. B Res can, of course, get the kill. Casey, why don't you run up, smack it, and then B Res, finish it. No, my 
great edifice of rust and rock is ruined! I am not ready! Demon engine dismantled. A satisfactory conclusion to this vile perversion of the machine. That was actually really, really a easy. Fought battle, Commander. Worthy that boss. Of note in the Hall of Champions. That boss needed like double the hit points. Are you patting yourselves on the back? This was a hard-fought victory, Inquisitor. The Commander deserves some praise. This banter is irrelevant. The Prime Seed should be extracted and boarded for containment. That boss was really easy. I remember these bosses being harder, but then again, I don't think I grinded as long in the first campaign. And I didn't have quite as much good gear. Like, this squad is loaded uh, with some pretty sick gear. Uh, Alright, well, we got. Oh, we could potentially get a new Terminator armor. Scholar's Devotion, Immune to Drain. Sure, I'll take it. We don't have a lot of good Terminator armor. Hammer with a knockback, I don't want that. A uh, sideball, or yeah, a bolter with bleed, I don't really care about that. Ooh, Agorium Scrolls tier 2. There's a tier 3. I, I just want the tier 3. I'll take the Scholar's Devotion though, tier 3 Terminator armor. That seems good. We're a little low on Terminator armors. B Res, hey, and Shoto both got the level 9. Congratulations. I. Do I know what I want to do with them? I don't even know. Let's just confirm. It is done. Your prognosticars signal a weakening in the strain. With a single stroke, we have ended its spread. A victory, yet we are not Fenrisians. We have no time for revelry while the scourge remains. Accurate. Four strains of the bloom remain. Yes, yes. There is still much work to be done. Let us not forget that self-professed Warden of the Bloom, Cadex. He will not sit idly while we wreck his master's plans. We will be ready. Query. What of the Prime Seed? Analysis suggests it is an artifact of significant power. I have already put a mind to that very matter, Dominus. With sufficient study, it could be reworked into a tool for our crusade, after the proper cleansing rituals, of course. Fortuitous. Unburdened by command, the Brother Purifier is available to assist you. Oh yes, quite. Exactly what I was thinking, Dominus. I will send for you, Ektar, when you are needed. Those three are bickering again, despite the great victory. The oh. halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? Okay, we could talk to everyone, but before we do that, let's go do this event. I don't like the fact that my construction is paused. Um, we can talk later. I also got a new paladin. Oh God. I don't know that I want another paladin pretty good basic ability it's another paladin with the side cannon again like i don't i don't actually want like paladin with side cannon i want paladins with like ah, i'm just gonna toss you back i'm sorry buddy don't want another paladin especially not one with the side cannon hope pointed paladins the shields i don't know what to do in terms of levels oh uh we'll get back to i'll get back to that okay let's go to the event and then we're probably going to have to do more missions. Update. The ranking engines here reports that our repairs will be subject to significant delay due to factorum overhaul. Our mission is paramount. Perhaps I could negotiate. Denial. The Omnisire's authority cannot be overridden. 
Your words will be futile and counterproductive. I assure you, Tech Priest, I can be very convincing. Hmm. I don't like the idea of waiting our turn. I want to do missions. Attempt the uh, repairs ourselves. That doesn't sound like a great idea either. Uh, Lunette is saying it is a terrible idea to send Vakir to negotiate with the Mechanicum, with these priests. I could believe that. Lunette knows best. Let's try a bribe. I got some servitors to spare. Unorthodox, however not unprecedented. Transmitting offer. Transaction accepted. New repair priority is one alpha. Oh, mobilize for five days. I don't like that. It might cost us a mission, but... Hopefully it's just one mission. Yeah. Okay, well... It's okay, it's okay. Uh, can't do... Okay, kill five enemies with grenades. 15 days. This is a techno phase, right? I just worry I can't actually get there on time. We got tier 3 servo skull. That could be good. Tier 3 bolter? Hmm. Win without master crafted armor? I mean, we could do that. It's just kind of annoying. <sighs> Killing enemies with grenades is actually kind of annoying. Uh, the problem is, I don't actually know that I could reach this in 7 days. Or 4 or. So there's 12 days left, 8 days. I don't actually know that I can reach this in 8 days. I, th I imagine I could, but I might not be able to. Servitors are all the way to the right. That's actually the mission I really want to do. Might be able to get there. Ah. Uh. Why did this event have to happen? Don't know. I also want to prevent a Morbus, right? Like, that's good to prevent Morbuses. This planet uh, is under the... Whatchamacallit? The um, Prognosticator. This planet down here. Uh, Gephardt 6. So, even if it Morbus... We should have plenty of time to get there. This planet, on the other hand, does not. Also kind of annoying to do. Ooh, and then... Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send a frigate to deal with... The... the de destroy the Bloom Spawn mission. I think it's safer. Oh, how do I level? I don't have that many levels left. I don't need a side cannon. Everybody says how good the multi-melter is. I don't think I need to... Uh... So upgrading the Inferno to flick vulnerable just kind of makes sense. And then maybe a little more hit po uh, defense. I'll know that I want to use the last cannon. Astro Barrage doesn't actually look good. Silence Duration, I also don't care about that. I don't know that I need a Plasma Cannon stuff, so let's let's do something like this. And then go for melee. At the end. Okay, so... Uh, we need to send Uninjured Knights. Uh, you know, the level... Max level knights would be perfect to send. Casey's a little too valuable, but Shoto, we could send you. What do I want? Do I want this burning thing? Purge. You know what? Why not? Four hit points, plus two crit damage or hammer hand. Those, those don't really seem necessary. This at least gives us another tactical option. The lesson Shoto. We're gonna send, um... I was gonna say mystery, but what about Yancas? 
We're gonna send maybe not Kai Wong. Then two level nine brothers. Rising. And Demiurge. We're gonna send uh B Res. We can just send all sorts of high level brothers. Oh boy, what should B Res do? He's got a little tankiness, but I think I was gonna have him do the warp charge craze. Sure. I'm not saying that's the best move, but what? Wind chance is only likely? What how much power do I need? Rugen. Well, that's not good at all. I'm sending like my best brother is loaded up with the best gear. Mistress. And it's only a likely. Well, I guess I have no choice. I have no choice but to, to send a frigate. Uh, here I have uh, because this one's also just likely. Okay, hold on. If I swap out Rada. certain, okay, like Casey would make it certain. What if I brought um, Yankas? <laughs> no. What if I increased uh, my armor on one of my characters? Refuging Faith. I think that's still good. Scholar's Devotion. Could be given to Drayton. I really think he's a scholar, but might as well upgrade all this. Uh, immunity to drain could be valuable. Hmm. Alright, hold on. If I send Drayton to the other planet. Oh, what if I did a uh, Casey? My God, why? I mean, I have mostly tier two, tier three stuff. How come it's not enough power? I guess. I guess we can't do it. Likely is not good enough. Um, I guess we have to send the frigate down here. There's no choice. Uh, but I, I would prefer not to send all my level 9 brothers. Oh, okay. Pendant. Ooh, Pendant's actually more power? Pendant's more power than Casey? By 2? W would it matter if I swap Pendant here? Rugen. No. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, well, then let's not send Pendant. Let's send, uh, my original plan was to send Yankas. 52. Got Drayton, Demir, Shoto. Do I really need Drayton here? Drayton's... So satisfying to use him, you know. I sent Alex K. You don't like that. What if I sent Kai Wong? Ooh, Kai Wong is like a pretty absurd amount of power. Rugen. Ooh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. It's 
still not enough. It's just never enough. Okay, I don't know why Kai Wong's considered so much so powerful. He is actually pretty powerful. I, I think it's because the calculations are based on purity seal upgrades and so forth. And Kai Wong has a lot of purity seal upgrades. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. How much power is an assassin? Just out of curiosity. I said like. Kill ties uh, really good, but it's only one more dependent. I I'm not gonna keep. Uh, well, I already have the configuration loaded up. Yes, I'm gonna keep trying. Nope. Okay, assassins are also worth a lot of power. Ah, uh, assassin kill tie. Assassins are too fun. Let's. I mean, gotcha. So send someone like Rageous. Excellent. Choto, Demiurge, Kai Wong, Rageous. This is two of my best DPS. I don't know that I like that. I don't I don't like that. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, 52 power. I know this took forever to deploy, but. Did take some thought. Okay, we're gonna advance the time. We have no choice. Four days. Chaos cruiser up there. Research project complete. Bloom suppression one. I took the liberty of studying the honored chronicles of Grandmaster Yanis. While certainly no poet, his functional prose contains some intriguing tenets on psychic dampening. I've already applied his doctrine to help the edicts prognosticators quiet the psychic re reverberations that are released when your knights enter territory corrupted by the bloom. Okay. Let's do, uh, I'm gonna do this torpor because I want to research some stuff in this tree, uh, which will help the assassins quite a bit. Alright, one more day. Praise the Omnissiah. The adepts have rectified the severe internal damage, and the edict's joints sigh with relief. My repair and reconstruction efforts can resume with confidence. Excellent. Oh, okay, I can reach the Technophage. As much as I want to reach this other mission, I don't think I can do both. Um, it's actually, in a way, kind of a good thing for the... I haven't done the Technophage in a while. This seems like it has really good rewards. Plus, I don't actually mind the Red Seed spreading. I need a lot of red seeds and just having like random red seeds everywhere pretty good thing i also don't really want to do this like when without mastercrafted war weapons or armor you can do it but it's such a pain that i will pass yes okay let's go to the technophage i hear that one of these reapers has been banished from the materium a commander's first victory against a greater denizen of the warp warrants a special commendation. Given your present circumstances, I will allow you one unrestricted request from the armory. Ooh. Banner probably just means, like, high spirits. I don't know that I need that. Melee weapon? We don't have that many tier 3 weapons. I always use uh, And we are, like, we have extra melee weapons. We're just, like, not good enough for this stage. Range weapons, I feel that's too random. I don't know what I get. We have plenty of armor. A mighty blade of legend. The Argent Mace. Okay. That's for Charlie. Ooh. Tier 3 Mace. Yes, this does look pretty good. Yeah, yeah, this is a good weapon. Let's upgrade the crit right away. But I might not want to... Upgrade the other one. Yeah, Flick Vulnerable. That's good. That's very good. I, okay, this is a good upgrade. Good upgrade for you, Charlie. Uh, everybody's a little wounded from the mission. Kai Wong level. Okay.
He has returned from his solitary mission with glorious results. It seems there was a plague surgeon developing a novel method of spore dispersal. Our brother eliminated his cult before sending his soul to eternal damnation. I can see the experience was bracing. He has returned stronger and wiser than before. Was there ever any doubt for Aya that he was succeeding his mission? I mean, the answer is yes, I doubted him greatly, but you know what? He succeeded. And that's what matters. He had faith in the Emperor. Good for you, Aya. Let me see, what is this talent you got? Uh, Storm. Farseer. Hey, that's pretty good. Plus three range, uh, range for range attack with Stormbolter. Yeah, that's actually quite good on a support fire type build. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. Maybe we even... I know you're level 9, but uh, you don't get experience. But still, it's kind of fun. Okay, we've got win without mastercrafted armor wait not even on my dreadnought that's i still have 16 hit points that's enough hit points i'm not worried yeah there's no way you do that but that's actually good to spread all those red seas around Okay, okay, I am pretty pleased with all the stuff that's going on now. Uh, I bet I could have done both of these missions if it weren't for that stupid uh, event that paralyzed the ship. And it cost us some servitors. But I will take care of this mission in the next episode, and then we're going to do talking. Maybe we should do some talking now. Let's talk to Lunette. Change my mind. Edicts and machine spirits are silent. I await your input. We recovered a prime seed. Any insight into its origin? It is the core of a relic, corrupted long ago. And used to spawn the smaller seeds we have seen so far. I believe the Inquisitor is correct. If we purge it of its taint, then it can be brought back to a purpose that serves the machine god. There are many on Mars that would give up their mechadendrites to study these. Okay. Box exchange parameters updated. Has the Edict faced anything like the Reapers before? We were involved in the banishment of the Buboessiant Princeling of Cortoral V. Wow, what happened? The gaseous fumes congealed with fermenting algae, creating a vector for the Buboessiant Princeling to enter the Materium. My generator colleagues recommended using a pacifying agent, a foam formulated to separate the algae and unbind the demon. This would have been the most efficient strategy and would have protected the Imperium's assets. However, gas with a high methane content burns fast and bright. Nectar was in no mood for mercy when he killed the princeling with his purifying flame. That sounds like Ektar, see? Like I... Like... Box exchange parameters updated. I understand. Go now. I must tend to the needs of the ship. Okay, Technophage next. So you can destroy the Bloom spawn. I actually do need the... Uh, green seeds quite a bit. No master crafted weapon uh, armor, but that's fine. We can live without armor. Without weapons would be a problem. Without armor, we can take it. Thank you for watching. Until next time.